up to six decimals. Decimal number. Consider the number 5347. The number 5347 in terms of place value can be written as 5 into 1000 plus 3 into 100 plus 4 into 10 plus 7 into 1 which is equal to 5000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 7. Now moving from right 7 is the units digit. The second digit 4 is the tens digit represents 4 tens. Third digit 3 is the hundreds digit and 5 is the thousands digit. As we move from right to left, the place value of a digit increases by 10 times. In other words, as we move from left to right, the place value of a digit increases by 10 times. If we extend this system to the right of units digit 7, the place value of the digit to the right of 7 will be tenths, that is 1 upon 10. The place value of next digit will be hundredths, that is 1 upon 100. Next will be thousands, that is, 1 upon 1000 and so on. Thus, the place of digits which are on the left of units digit 7 are 10, 100, 1000 and the place of digits on the right of 7 are 1 upon 10, 1 upon 100, 1 upon 1000. Now, look at the number 5347.618. The number 5347.618 in terms of place value can be written as 5 into 1000 plus 3 into 100 plus 4 into 10 plus 7 into 1. Whole number part plus 6 into 1 upon 10 plus 1 into 1 upon 100 plus 8 into 1 upon 1000. Fractional part. To separate whole number and fractional part of the number, we put small dot in between which is called decimal. The number is read as 5347.618. The fractional number with 10, 100, 1000 as their denominators are not written as common fractions but as decimal fractions. For example, 2 upon 10 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 10 which is equal to 0.2. 2 upon 100 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 100, which is equal to 0.02. 2 upon 1000 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 1000, which is equal to 0.002. By convention, 0 is written to the left of decimal point. 0.2 is equal to 0.2. 0.02 is equal to 0.02. Point zero zero two is equal to zero point zero zero two. This is to indicate that there is no integral part to the left. Writing zeros to the extreme right end of the decimal part does not change the value of the decimal fractions. This implies zero point two is equal to zero point two zero. This implies two parts of ten is equal to twenty parts of one hundred. 2 upon 10 is equal to 20 upon 100 which is equal to 2 upon 10. Example 1. Write each of the following in figures. 156.326 0.187 Solution 156.326 which is equal to 156.326 0.187 which is equal to 0.187 187. Example 2. Write the following decimal numbers in the place value table. 625.48, Solution. Number 625.48, 6, hundreds, 2, tens, 5, ones, 4, Tenths, eight, hundredths, twenty-five point three seven, two, tens, five, ones, three, tenths, seven, hundredths, zero point eight two five zero, ones, eight, tenths, two, hundredths, five, thousandths, thirty point zero zero six, three, tens, zero, ones, zero, tenths, zero, hundredths, six, Thousands. Representation of decimals on the number line.
we draw a line and mark a point O on it. On this line, we mark points A, B and C at equal distances to the right of O. Let the point O denotes 0. The distances from O to A, A to B and B to C are further divided into 10 equal parts. Since point O represents 0, therefore ABC corresponds to the numbers 1, 2, 3, so on. OA is equal to 1 unit. OB is equal to OA plus AB is equal to 2 units. OC is equal to OB plus BC is equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 units. To represent 0 0.6, 1.7 and 2.8 on the number line. 0 0.6 0 0.6 is greater than 0 but less than 1. Starting from 0, the sixth part towards right will represent 0 0.6, 1.7. 1 1.7 is greater than 1, but less than 2. Starting from 1, the seventh part towards right will represent 1.7. 2.8. 2 2.8 lies between 2 and 3, starting from 2. The eighth part towards right will represent 2.8. Like and unlike decimals, decimal places, the number of digits contained in the decimal part of a decimal number gives the number of decimal places. Examples, 5.76 has two decimal places, 23.458 has three decimal places, 0 0.95 has two decimal places. Like decimals, the decimals with the same number of decimal places are called like decimals. Example, 7.39, 4.57, 23.86 are like decimals, each having two places of decimal. Unlike decimals, the decimals having different number of decimal places are called unlike decimals. Example, 0 0.5, 3.57, 4 4.893 are unlike decimals since they contain 1, 2 and 3 decimal places respectively. Similarly, 6.32, 0 0.9, 26.548 are also unlike decimals. Converting unlike decimals into like decimals. The unlike decimals can be converted into like decimals by adding zeros to the right of decimal part. Example, convert 0 0.8 3.25 and 4.387 to like decimals. Solution. The number of decimal places in 0 0.8 is equal to 1. The number of decimal places in 3.25 is equal to 2. The number of decimal places in 4.387 is equal to 3. We know that any number of extra zeros written at the end of decimal number does not change its value. For like decimals, Three given numbers should have same three number of decimal places. Thus, 0 0.800, 3.250 and 4.387 are like decimals. Comparing decimals. To compare decimals, following steps are followed. Step 1. Convert unlike decimals into like decimals. Step 2. Compare the whole number part. Number with greater whole number part will be the greater decimal number. Step 3. If the whole number part is equal, then compare the digits in the tenths place. The decimal number having greater number at the tenths place will be greater. Step 4. If the digits in the tenths place are also equal, then compare the digits in the hundredths place and so on. Example, which is greater? 6.8 and 5.9, 2.07 and 2.073. Solution. 6.8 and 5.9. 6 greater than 5. Since 6 greater than 5, therefore 6.8 greater than 5.9. 2.070 and 2.073. Same, same, same. 0 less than 3. Comparing the thousands digit 0 less than 3. 
This implies 2.073 greater than 2.07. Conversion of decimal into a fraction. To convert a decimal number into a fraction, following steps are followed. Step 1. Write the given number without decimal point as the numerator of the fraction. Step 2. In the denominator, write 1, followed by as many zeros as there are decimal places in the given number. Step 3. Convert the above fraction into simplest, lowest form, and if required, convert it into mixed fraction. Example, convert decimals 6.25 into a fraction. Solution, numerator of the fraction is equal to 625. Denominator of the fraction is equal to 100. Two zeros are written after 1, as there are two decimal places. Required fraction is equal to 625 upon 100, 25 upon 4, which is equal to 6 and 1 upon 4. Conversion of a fraction into a decimal. When the denominator of a fraction is 10, 100, 1000, etc. Example, convert fractions into decimal. 16 upon 10. Solution, 16 upon 10 is equal to 1 and 6 upon 10, which is equal to 1 plus 6 upon 10, which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.6, which is equal to 1.6. General method of converting a fraction into decimal. Equivalent fraction method. Step 1. Change the given fraction into an equivalent fraction with denominator 10, 100, 1000, etc. Step 2. Count the number of zeros in the denominator after 1. Put the decimal in the numerator, starting from right to left, equivalent to number of zeros. Example. Convert into decimals 5 upon 2. Solution. 5 upon 2 is equal to 5 into 5 upon 2 into 5, which is equal to 25 upon 10, which is equal to 2.5. Long division method. We can also change a fraction into a decimal by using long division method. The following steps are involved in it. Step 1. Divide the numerator by the denominator till a non-zero remainder is left. Step 2. Put a decimal point in the dividend as well as in the quotient. Step 3. Put a zero on the right of the decimal point in the dividend as well as on the right of the remainder. Step 4. Divide again. Step 5. Keep on repeating step 4 till we get remainder zero. Example. Convert 7 upon 4 into decimals. Solution. Seven upon four is equal to one point seven five. Use of decimal numbers in daily life. We shall now learn about uses of decimal notation in currency, measuring length or distance, mass and weight, and capacity. Currency money. In India, money is expressed in rupees and paise. One rupee is equal to one hundred paise. One paisa is equal to rupees one upon one hundred, which is equal to 0 0.01 rupee. Similarly, 2 paise is equal to 2 upon 100 rupees, which is equal to rupees 0 0.02. We can write 15 rupees 52 paise equal to rupees 15 plus rupees 52 upon 100, which is equal to rupees 15 plus rupees 0 0.52, which is equal to rupees 15 and 52 paise or rupees 15 52 paise 6 rupees 5 paise is equal to rupees 6 plus rupees 5 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 6 plus rupees 0 0.05 which is equal to 6 rupees and 5 paise length distance we know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter this implies 1 centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 meters, which is equal to 0 0.01 meters. Similarly, 
2 centimeters is equal to 2 upon 100 meters which is equal to 0 0.02 meters. Wait, we know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. This implies 1 gram is equal to 1 upon 1000 kilograms which is equal to 0 0.001 kilogram. Similarly, 286 grams is equal to 286 upon 1000 kilograms which is equal to 0 0.286 kilograms. Capacity. We know that 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. This implies 1 milliliter is equal to 1 upon 1000 liters which is equal to 0 0.001 liter. We can write 8 liters 725 milliliters is equal to 8 plus 725 upon 1000 liters which is equal to 8.725 liters. Addition of decimals. For addition of decimals, we follow the steps given below. Step 1. Convert the given decimals to like decimals. Step 2. Write the decimals in column with decimal point below each other so that tenths come under tenths, hundreds come under hundreds and so on. Step 3. Add as we add whole numbers. Step 4. Place the decimal point directly under decimal points. The following examples will make this concept more clear. Example, add 7.4, 10.56 and 112.6. Solution, converting the given decimals into like decimals, we get 7.40, 10.56, 112.60. Now, writing these decimals in columns and adding, hence, the sum of the given decimals is 130.56. Subtraction of decimals. To subtract decimal number from another decimal number, we follow the same procedure as we did in addition. Step 1. Convert the given decimals into like decimals. Step 2. Arrange the like decimals in column with decimal point falling in one line and then subtract. The following examples show the procedure of subtraction. Example, find the value of 22.07 minus 13.381. Therefore, 22.07 minus 13.381 is equal to 8.689.